Hi everyone. In this video I am going to talk about what happens when a matrix doesn't have a unique solution. So um, if you remember my last example, I did x plus y plus z equals 2, 4x plus 3y plus 2z equals negative 4, negative 2x plus y minus z equals negative 2. And when you solve that matrix, you ended up with x equals negative 16 over 5, y equals negative 8 over 5, and z equals 34 over 5. When you have x equals a number, y equals a number, and z equals a number, that's what's called a unique solution. That represents if you had a graph, only one point satisfies all three of these equations at the same time. So when you don't have a unique solution, you're either going to have infinitely many solutions, which can be, let's say, a line of solutions, like let's say y equals x, or yeah, that's a line. <laughs> y equals x is your solution, or x plus y equals 6 is your solution. Or you can have a situation where you have no solution. So there is no point on any graph that you could ever draw that will satisfy your equations. So I'm going to start off talking about infinitely many solutions. So the example that I have that ends up having infinitely many solutions is I've just drawn it in the matrix. I haven't, you know, drawn it with all the variables written in. But anyway, 1x plus 3y plus 2z equals 1, and 3x minus y plus 4z equals 9, and 2x minus 4y plus 2z equals 8. So I didn't, you know, write down all the steps, so it takes forever, but I did write out, you know, if you want to solve it yourself, I've written out the steps I did. So first I did R2 minus 3 row 1, then I did R2 divided by 2, row 3 over 2, row 3 minus row 1, then row 3 minus row 2, then row 2 divided by negative 5, then row 1 minus 3 row 2. And when I did that, I got x plus 0y plus 7 over 5z equals 14 over 5, 0x plus y plus 1 over 5z equals negative 3 over 5, and uh-oh, 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 0. So the problem with that is 0x you know, plus 0y plus 0z, x, y, and z, they could be anything because 0 times any number is always 0. So you don't know really what they are. Anything could work. So to write your solution, you're going to let z equal t. And what that means is instead of having x plus 7 fifths z equals 14 over 5, that's going to become x plus 7 over 5t instead of z equals 14 over 5. Instead of y plus 1 over 5z equals negative 3 over 5, you're going to have y plus 1 over 5t equals negative 3 over 5, and of course, z equals t. So your answer, you don't just write infinitely many solutions, you let z equal t, and then you write, you know, what x equals when z equals t and what y equals when z equals t. So another case you could get is no solution. And no solution is when you have a situation where, let's say, 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals negative 6. Well, 0 times anything is always 0, so there's no way you're going to get... 0 something times 0 times something plus 0 times something equals negative 6. It will never happen. So for your answer, you just write no solution.